What is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel. This is your host commentator and I'm bringing you another epic highlight compilation of the greatest moments of this week's audits. You guys before we get started drop a like on today's video to show your support. Thank you so much. Can we get 1000 likes? Also subscribe if you are new to this channel. Well today we're going to be starting with an audit highlight taken from good guy activism. Good guy is banging out the audits quite literally daily and they are all worthy of featuring for highlights. Now obviously auditors will audit for hours but I've managed to condense my favourite part of his audit today or I think it was yesterday or a couple days ago and uh, this one features him actually just walking along the sidewalk and he is uh, just basically filming a car. It's night time, it's dark out. Police seem to be attending to some type of call. They have their lights still on, but they're parked up at the side of the road. Now, a good guy goes up to the vehicle and uh, is filming through the windows. Plainview Doctrine, First Amendment, Freedom of Press. And uh, this cop reacts very, very jumpily, shall we say. The cop literally starts trying to play rugby or American football with this guy. And uh, it's just uh, not good at all. Take a look at this. Yeah, they in the 40th precinct. He locked his car. See that? What about us? What are you doing? You don't can't, touch me, don't touch you me. You can't videotape our stuff. You gotta go back up. Get on the sidewalk, my brother. You can't do that. So go on the sidewalk. Why are you touching me? You can't videotape our th stuff over here. Go Why over are you there. Touching me? Go on the sidewalk, brother. You can't go. What's your reason to videotape us for? What's the video? What's, what's your reason, reason for touching me? What's that? You can't come out near our Why police car. Me? Sorry, you can't come near our police car. Let me get your ID now. For what? You can't come near our police car. I'm actually get back Why? on the sidewalk. That's it. Why? Sorry. Why are you asking me that? Why? Because you can't come near our police car like Why not? that. I'm sorry. Officer safety. Officer safety is a law? Yes. I don't know what you're doing. Is officer safety a law? I don't know your intent, my brother. So watch. I don't, my intent is to record. Your intent, brother. My intent is to record. Now that you know my intent. Now that you know my intent, now what? Yeah. Okay. So you know my intent. So stay away from Investigative my car. journalism. So stay away from Investigative my car. journalism. Don't touch me again. So don't stay away from my car. They got a chair, flashlight, Excuse me. and a car. Oh, excuse me, you're blocking my movement. Way? Why are you blocking my movement? You, you, you can ask me, don't touch move. me, bro. Then get away from my car. Am I detained? That's it. So move then. Am I move. detained? Move. Get away from my car. Move. Move away from my car. Whose car? This, the police car. The people's car, right? Move away from this car, please. Move, move away from this car. Move away from this car. You see the intimidation tactics? That's not gonna work. Just walk away from the car. I'm on the sidewalk. Excuse me. Thank you. Walk away from the car. Just don't touch me, whatever you do. Walk away from the car. I'm good. Excuse me. Okay, so we're a couple minutes into this highlight, and I just wanted to add some criticism and commentary because there's a lot to talk about in this clip, and we're not even finished yet. We're about halfway, if that. In this clip, Look, good guys is, he can't even, com he, you can't reason with this cop. The cop seems so jumped up and power hungry that he is literally like getting so close to good guy and seems to have his hand on him and is actively trying to shoo him away. In this case, good guy seems a bit <laughs> shocked, shall we say. Wouldn't we be if we were doing an audit and a cop responded like this? Do you know what, you guys, this has to be one of the worst responses I've ever seen to an auditor filming a police vehicle. I've had people, you know, say that they're going to arrest. I've had people say that they're going to detain or force an ID check. Uh, but this guy is quite literally just trying to like shove him out the way. It seems like he is trying to actually physically push him out the way of the vicinity of the cop car, which is like, or <laughs> it's, I'm speechless because that is just not allowed. And good guy knows that, but you can't reason with this cop because he has a language of pushing rather than talking. Take a look at part two. Away from the car. Stop Thank you. Me, bro. Move up. away from the car. Move away from the car. I'm not going to tell you again. Stop Move away me. from the car. Excuse me. Stop blocking my movement. Bro, not... Move away from bro, the car. Bro, am I detained, car. bro? That's it. Am I detained? Move away from the am car. Am I detained? That's it. Why are you Move blocking my movement? Move away from the car. Why are you blocking my movement That's in public? It. Move away I'm from the car. I'm not going to listen to you, bro. I'm free. I'm yeah. a free citizen. That means I can walk. I can film. 
What's your problem, bro? You can't come to our police car like that. Why not? From the side, what law is it? What law is it? What law are you enforcing, law enforcement officer? What law are you enforcing? Exactly. Don't touch me. Stop blocking my movement. Listen, just move away Listen, from the why? car, man. Why? Just move away from the why? car. That's all it is. Why? Just move away from the car. Move away from the sidewalk? We just told you. Move just away from the sidewalk? I'm on the sidewalk. The I'm on the sidewalk right. where my rights are strongest. Go this is a there. traditional public forum. Go over there, B. No, there. I'm good. I'm good. I can film from anywhere on the sidewalk. I can film from anywhere in public. Okay, that's nice. Didn't you swear, to, didn't you swear over to protect my rights? Listen, so why are you trying to violate my rights? Why are you touching me? Bro, if I'm not committing I'm a crime. You. Give me a car, you send again. I don't have to do nothing. I'm free. I'm free, yeah. Okay, damn, that was a good line from Good Guy. He literally brought up that the cops swore an oath to protect his rights. He also swore an oath to uphold the constitution. <laughs> I mean, the, the cop seems to just stutter at that and uh, try and kind of diverge or... <laughs> he tries to literally make a diversion from that conversation. He doesn't seem to even... Uh, he doesn't even seem to recognize what good guy said. He's continually basically tried to say the good guy can't film his vehicle from that close. He's saying that he has to stand further back along the sidewalk and... Uh, in terms of reasons why, the cops give many reasons and they're all kind of laughable to be honest. Some come from, oh there could be sensitive sensitive uh, things on the uh, computer screens, there could be uh, someone in the back that is uh, wanted or needing help, there could be, uh, there's a million reasons they give for you how you shouldn't film inside a police car, but uh, in this case it's just something that the police officer is just shocking everyone because it doesn't make any sense what he's doing and he's he's literally seems to be getting physical for absolutely no reason this is insane Let, let's keep watching pull down my pants. I gotta pull down my pants it doesn't matter what you tell me bro I'm a free citizen I'm on the sidewalk move away from me please just move away from the vehicle that's it Boy, give me your cars, bro. I can't do it. Stop I touching me. Stop move, touching me because I'm going to defend away. myself. Move. I'm going to defend move. myself. Stop touching Oh my god, you guys. This is so unprofessional. I don't even know if I can finish the end of this highlight. This dude is literally like some high school student who is like, move, bro. Move. Move. It's like, what? You're a professional. You are a law enforcement. You are a peacekeeper you are oh my goodness me what is this this is so unprofessional i can't even believe i'm watching this right now good guy also is he's tried putting the guy on his oath he's tried bringing up the fact that he is under the first amendment he is filming things and the, the officer doesn't seem bothered the officer seems will only relax and uh, calm down once good guy is on the sidewalk away from the vehicle and his mate here who seems to be his helper is just uh you know helping along with basically shooing good guy along the pavement as if he's some kind of scurrying rat or something i mean it's absolutely unbelievable you guys i can't believe this i mean let's try and finish this video but um, a whole army's turned up in part three uh part four actually so let's see what uh, i think this lady is a supervisor let's pray she has more sense than the other guy and doesn't start shoving him as well your supervisor she's here what are we going to do Good. Excuse me. Yeah, this guy's up on us trying to record all the time. Before he's Are you the supervisor? Yeah, yeah. Can you answer a question for me? Why are they blocking my movement? Nothing. He's recording all in there. I told him my intent. I told him investigative journalism. He's still putting his hands on me. For what? I'm on a sidewalk. I'm free. You can't, you can't be all Why not? Why not? What crime is it? What crime is it, ma'am? Nope. I was wrong. That's right, the supervisor turned up and was just like the guy, except she wasn't pushy or shovey. She was just talking about how the guy's right. I mean, it's unbelievable. She sided with the police officer. She said that yes, he wasn't allowed to film near the car. He has to stand from a set way away. Uh, and then obviously good guy tries to ask them what law is it. And it's like trying to talk to a wall. I mean, this, this is probably one of the worst responses i've ever seen from cops when it comes to filming especially squad cars um it's definitely up there with the top five of just unbelievable responses from police even when good guy asks them what law is it what's going on they make things they seem to say things that don't even make sense and uh, this cop here doesn't even seem to have a clue I mean, god i feel bad for good guy I, I this one was really bad probably one of his worst not because of him but because of the police response Okay, so we're in the facility here. We just passed through the metal detector. I have been told that I mumble too much. Well, guys, in today's next clip, I'm going to try and keep mumbling to a minimum. 
and just keep it my reaction, criticism and opinions. You know what you guys, in this video we have Long Island Audit doing another one of his audits in a public building and he is uh, just filming things, you know, the typical intro to his videos. He's filming cameras, lights, uh, different windows, all the different interesting things you find in public buildings. And uh, it doesn't take long for a member of security, uh, specifically a bailiff, sat at the security desk to call Sean over and tell him that he is uh, not allowed to film because he needs to get permission. And there could be sensitive things going on in the private rooms. Notice how Sean doesn't go in the private rooms. He's only in the publicly accessible areas. Uh, apparently this is some type of court area. I think it's to do with families only. And uh, Sean asks questions. But as we know, asking questions tends to result in escalation. Well, take a look. All right, guys, so we're in the facility here. We just passed through the metal detector. Let's take a look around. Beautiful building here. We have a... Friendly reminder that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them. Let's hope that's not the case here today. We are on the second floor here. Let's take a look around. Hi, Courtroom's over here. Sir? Sorry, there's no recording on the floor. Excuse me? Can't be recording on the floors. Why? Because it's a confidential hearing on this floor, so we can't have anybody. There's no recording. You're having confidential hearings in the middle of a public lobby? Or the parties here, they're part of uh, confidential hearings. So there's just no recordings on this floor alone. In the public lobby here? Yes. Why would that be? Because, like I said, they're part of confidential hearings. No but parties. They should, if they're confidential hearings, they shouldn't have them in open public well, where anyone can be. Not, but the parties are part of confidential hearings. Oh, the so parties of the them, hearings. Yeah. yeah so we well, don't that shouldn't matter. Yeah. Sorry, Who are you, sir? That's the court policy. That's just how it is. Who are you, sir? I'm the one of the bailiffs. You're one of the bailiffs in your name? Ryan. Ryan. Um, yeah, my name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I'm taking some pictures and video here. Uh, I have every right to take pictures and video in public. So I don't, do you have a policy that you can show me or is there? Yeah, I can get Because a, a policy really wouldn't mean anything. It would have to be more like a law or maybe even a judge's order. And do you have any identification yourself? Do I have any identification? No, just my name's Sean, just Sean. That's all. There's a judge's order? Okay. I, if I see it, it's fine. Again, ladies and gentlemen. Are you? I just, if I can, if you could show me some type of law or, or a judge's order. Yeah, we're working on that. Right I don't know why, but in my opinion, I'm sensing a huge ego from this officer that just turned up. Like, Sean's made it clear that he will actually bow to the law. We all bow to the law. Okay, I, I listen, everyone watching this video bows to the law unless there's some like oddity 1%. If you're an auditor, you know the law, you abide by it. Now, coming into a public building and saying that a policy of a public building is law is utterly laughable and hilarious, but at the same time, really, really dangerous and bad. You see, Sean from Long Island Audit knows the law. He knows it inside and out, and even study the policies so he can play them at their own silly chess games. Well, the bailiff at the front desk has made the officers aware that they have an intruder filming the building, and that they need to have swift action to see him gone. Well, now they're trying to convince him that it's actually against the law to film in a building. So let's see what happens next, as the officers now flood in their hundreds to come and see Sean. Judge's order? Yeah, we're working on that. Okay. Yeah, I, I comply with all laws. So if there's okay, any so law. If there's an order, will you erase your footage after then? If you it, see that as an order that you can't report here. If the order says that I have to erase my footage, sure. If not, I'll just leave and be on my way. I'm not, I don't want to violate anybody's order. I don't want to violate, well, I don't want any issues with the judge. I don't know. I, no, I need to know. Yeah, I yeah. need to know about, yeah, so I need to know about the order. I need to have seen the order myself because I don't know if there's an order or not. Right, so would you erase it after you see the order? Uh, can we just wait till we see the order? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, um, just let's wait till we see the order. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Uh, it's right here. Yeah, yeah, I you guys me if you want. want. Right, right here is R I G H T or? Hmm? Oh, your name's not right here. Hey, no. Uh, you know, Fern you're Fernandez. To be recording anyway, you should get out. What's your name and badge number, sir? Uh, never mind. It's none of your business. Oh no, now we have a male Karen involved in this situation. There's nothing worse than a male Karen. 
trust me. In this case though, we have the officer claiming that there is an order that was approved by a judge, I'm guessing stamped and signed with wet ink, by a judge saying that you cannot film in public places, specifically this building. So I'm not unaware where this building is, I'm guessing if you look at Long Island Audit's video, if you look at Sean's original, you'll find it in the description or in his full length video, as this is just a shortened version. Now I'm interested to see what happens next because Sean's tested them and he's basically said okay find me this order please I'd like to see this order and I'd like to see the judge or at least the uh, order that the judge has approved and signed that says it's against the law for me to film in here well to, something tells me they're talking wind and uh, they're not going to bring an order out. So I'm very interested to see what their next move is because Sean is very persistent he's not going to leave unless they show him that order. And even if they do, he'll probably investigate it. So I think they're going to have to change their tactics on how to get rid of Sean. Uh, and I'm interested to see which tactic they choose. Your name is Fernandez. Who, who, yeah, the United States Constitution. Are you a sheriff? Are you law enforcement? Did you just call me boy? Why did you just call me boy? That's very disrespectful of you. Yeah, yeah. Get the F out. You're causing a disturbance. That's what you're doing. You should be removed from the building because you're causing a disturbance. Sure. I don't see how a law supersedes my rights, but... I don't see I don't see how it supersedes rights. I'm a journalist. I have freedom of press. I'm just taking pictures. Of, I'm not going to any sensitive areas or restricted areas or anything like that. Are you going into a courtroom? No, I don't want to go into any courtroom. Just, just looking at these... Uh, this artwork oh, here. You have a very beautiful building well, here. Well, part of the reason why, you understand this is family court. This is family court. Family court. This yeah. building is family court. Second, third, fourth, family court. So a lot of the things that go on here is between, you know, individuals, right? So yeah. private yeah. parents because divorce, uh, child custody, those kind of things. Sure. So because yeah. of the sensitive nature of the cases that are involved, you have paternities, you have, uh, you know, you, you, you follow the court. You understand? No, right? no, I, I, get, I get what you're saying. Okay, I, so anyway, might, I have no interest in anybody's because personal because problems right. that they're having so in a public sense, building. Because of the sensitivity and the nature of that, they don't record because people don't want to be recorded up here. I was just, um, my name's Sean. I don't know if I just told you that, but my name's Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I'm just taking some pictures and video. I thought the building was uh, very beautiful, dark. Well, it seems like they've now got every employee in the blooming building coming over to ask Sean why he's filming. I'm still waiting for this order. Uh, I, I don't know if they've already shown it to Sean. Uh, they seem to be now using the tactic of... <laughs> I, I don't even know. They're talking... Now the other officer, who I'm guessing is the higher ranking one, the supervisor here, is trying to say that it's sensitive. You know, it's the usual, oh, it's sensitive in here. Um, but he's made it clear that it's a family court but Sean has made it clear back that he's not going in the court he's not going in the court rooms or the private rooms he's not stupid he knows he can't do that and in this case uh, the officer doesn't seem to understand that I don't think in my opinion now obviously this officer is just there to try and talk the talk try and convince Sean to leave perhaps even try and make him feel bad for filming there in the court area because of this Sean obviously isn't going to stop so uh, they tried the uh, order the imaginary order now they've tried the uh, guilt tripping and saying oh sensitive families people suing each other for custody of this and that now they're probably gonna try trespass or maybe something else so this is uh, phase three and I'm interested to see what happens next it was uh, very beautiful the architecture the art you have hanging around everywhere I don't plan to go and be accessible areas of this so, building um, are you here for a specific case because we do oh, have procedures. If you, if you if you're going into a courtroom, we do have procedures for specific. I'm sure. Cases. Yeah. No, I'm sure. But I have no intention of going into any courtrooms. Just okay. the public, publicly accessible lobby areas. Maybe talk to the clerk, get some documents from the yeah. the clerk. But as far as going inside of a courtroom, I have no intention of doing okay. that. Okay. I mean, you know, I I know. I understand that in a courtroom. Floor, our, our second floor is a little confidential because we do have juvenile cases, CPS related cases, and whatnot. Um, we do have the right to ask for, for your cooperation, and if you choose not to, then, you know, you would have to ask these gentlemen to do what they need to do. What does that mean? You know, have you escorted dog if you need to. As, so removed by violence? No, not by violence, but we then do how? have the right to ask for your cooperation. I called it, you guys. I damn well called it. There we go. 
they have got the guy in charge of the building to come down and basically tell Sean that he is being trespassed. Obviously, they haven't officially said that. They're basically indirectly saying that because they have told him that if he doesn't follow the rules, if he doesn't blah, 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 do what's right, or if he hasn't got business or he hasn't uh, asked permission or got a notice to film and a press pass, then the officers will have to do what they're there for. I mean, we all know what that means. They're going to trespass him. Listen, all their word games didn't work. Why didn't they just cut to the chase? It's Sean, Long Island Audit. He's a viral auditor and he doesn't take any crap. So basically, they're going to trespass him from public. And that's my opinion, by the way. I don't think they've officially trespassed him yet. But listen, by the way they're talking, they've made it seem like, okay, if you don't stop filming, uh, we're going to get the officers to do what they do, which we know what that means. Basically, in my opinion, my interpretation of that is that they're going to get the officers to take him out. So, uh, you know, let's see what happens next. When those are taken, just, just, just work with me now, please. Yeah. I'm yeah, trying yeah. to work with you, right? Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Sometimes they're out here and sometimes it can be overheard. So we just want to... Yeah, that's not my intention. Yeah, we just want to alleviate that. Mm -hmm. So we just, we, just, we want to work with you. And yeah, you I, I, I would hope so. As okay. a law enforcement officer, right. I would hope you'd want to yeah. work with me on yeah. exercising my yeah. constitutional rights. Definitely. That would Definitely. be great. But we want to protect everybody else as well that has information yeah so they, they don't have a right to privacy in public right Who, who's that? The, the general the general public doesn't have a, a right to privacy in public i have a right to freedom of press yeah, so i just want to exercise that right peacefully i don't want to get in anybody's personal business that's thank not you. my intention so anything else we need to speak about right. thank you sir have a great day thanks guys you take care yeah, okay. thanks for identifying yourself you're welcome Sean is the king of de-escalation. When the Seppin supervisor turned up and the fist bumps were there, we knew that he was genuinely a good cop. That's my opinion. And they gave Sean the benefit of the doubt and basically said, look, you need to walk with us. You need to work with us. And if you can just, you know, finish up here, take your film and photography and then make your way out. Now, obviously, that's not the law. And we know they're just playing on feelings here. All the people don't like to be filmed. They want privacy. Sean replied with nothing but facts and law. But unfortunately, this seems to be the feeling police. And uh, it's kind of sad to see. As nice as he, this uh, officer was and smiley, we got to remember that he's there to uphold the law and the First Amendment is part of that law. So it's a disappointment and he did agree with Sean about the First Amendment. But again, feelings police, feelings police. That's all I can reply with. Good. There's a reason why you're recording right So this next audit is quite different from what I usually feature here on this video. This audit is by PNW Transparency, link will be down below in the description. Go sub to his channel, another auditor you may not have heard of. Basically in this video he's uh, doing something different. He's not actually uh, filming a police department or a parking lot or going inside government buildings. He's actually filming a car wash. I mean, yeah, in the UK these are quite kind of rare nowadays. There's not so many car washes about, I think it's a dying business. Uh, it's mainly a thing that become corporatized and there's like these machine things everywhere now but uh, the hand car washes uh, still exist in many parts of Europe and the US well before I mumble on any more about car washes this video features a Karen who doesn't want to be filmed while her car is being washed but she doesn't seem to understand the First Amendment and how PNW is stood in public so uh, take a look at this Karen who comes actually walking up to PNW and tries to tell him the law the one she thinks is the law. Good. Is there just a reason why you're recording right now? Just out taking pictures. Cool. No That's problem. all. Enjoying yeah. the weather. How are you guys doing? Oh, doing good. It's hot. Yeah. Got you guys are busting your asses. Been busy. We have a good one there. You too. Clearly the one in charge. It's too much traffic. I'm just filming everything. What's that? I'm filming everything. You do not have our permission to film us. Okay, you can back up. Okay. You do not have our permission to film us. Why is that? I have a right to my personal identity, and you do not have a right to film us. Who told you that? Huh? I know the law. What? Can you quote it? Huh? Can you quote it? You know what? I will. Uh, can I get your name? 
She just literally said that she knows the law, and when PNW asked her to quote the law, she went, uh, uh, what's your name? <laughs> Guys, if you can tell someone doesn't know what they're on about by sensing what they're doing or saying, then this is the perfect educational video to see that. I mean, first of all, this Karen seems to be against cameras. Obviously, people don't like being filmed in public, I understand. It can be uncomfortable, but guess what? Feeling uncomfortable doesn't mean you can trump someone else's rights rights and the law can be annoying they can be uncomfortable they can be embarrassing but they're the law their rights and they're written in stone unfortunately your feelings don't supersede the law this lady doesn't like being filmed well she has a choice and a free will to drive back home leave the car wash and then no longer have pnw filming her if he was to follow her home and film inside her house through her windows on her yard, then yes, she would have the law on her side. But guess what? PNW's not an idiot. He knows the law and wouldn't do that. Let's take a look at some more of this made up law that Karen's about to quote in her next part of this audit. Huh? I know the law. Wait, can you quote it? Huh? Can you quote it? You know what? I will. Uh, can I get your name? No. Okay. Take us off. Why is so he filming? What is it? What is it? You're at the auditor's office? What's that? Are you at the auditor's office or L&I or any... Uh, I'd rather not say. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to ask you to stop recording all the customers that are coming through and to stop the body camera. And the... Yeah, it's not going to happen, man. Okay. So is, is there, are you recording for any specific reason or... Of course. And what is that? I'd rather not say. I'm just wondering where you heard that. Because you, you're... I've worked with attorneys and I've worked with the, the judges and I've worked with the courts and I know. So this is genuinely worrying if this lady has actually worked with all the people she claims to have worked with. Perhaps the laws are all outdated, but guess what? They're not because <laughs> the First Amendment's been around for ages. It's literally something that doesn't just tweak and change every once in a while or depending on the generation. In this case, we have a Karen who is quite literally just making things up. I mean, that's my opinion, but if we looked into the facts and law, she's claiming that the guy, PNW, needs to ask her permission to film her in public. Well, it seems to always be the older people that think that. And I don't know why they think that. Like, where have they got this from? I get it, it's annoying having someone film you and put a camera on you when you don't know who they are. But guess what? The law protects them, so you can't do anything. You can go up to them and ask them, like this guy here who works at the car wash, what are you doing? Why are you filming? But they might not answer you, or they might answer you and be friendly. It depends. How they react to you is their choice. But you can't stop them filming, because it's a First Amendment, freedom of press. And I have no idea who this lady worked with, because the attorneys that she was working with that advise her that you have to ask permission to film someone in public. Uh, does that make any sense to you guys? Because it doesn't to me. Comment down below your opinions. Go subscribe to PNW Transparency. Unfortunately, that's the end of today's video. I've got new episodes coming out every day from highlights of the best audit moments. So subscribe if you're new here, drop a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.